wanted to do another quick video. Um, tomorrow is opening day of muzzleloader season here in Middle Tennessee. And uh, we got a cold front coming in. Looks like it's going to be a great day for hunting. Looks like it's going to be 30s in the morning and then the cold front's supposed to be moving around 8 or 9. And so uh, often wild game tend to move in front of the front. And so uh, chances of getting something are pretty high. Deer muzzleloader you can get doe or buck. So uh, again, got better chances of getting something. So uh, I was preparing a gambrel today. So in the chance I get deer, I got something to hang it up on. Um, tools you're going to need are a knife, a saw of some sort, whether a multi-tool or a folding saw, and some bank line. And here's the gambrel. You can see I did a notch here and a notch there to line them up. I did the same thing here. And something that I like to do is do a notch at the end, forming a bit of a hook for your uh, line that you're going to string it up on in a tree to kind of hang on to. You can always run it through right here in the middle, but if you got something like this, then it kind of uh, takes out the hassle of trying to string the rope in the middle and hoist it up. Also, again, uh, log cabin style, two notches here. And what I've done is I put a hook on the end, and then you kind of round this up. Uh, that gives you something to stick through that uh, that uh, uh, that heel area. It's a tender um, tendon that runs right on the back of the the heel. Um, when you uh, skin back the deer uh, back uh, below the the lower kneecap, middle uh, the kneecap, you can uh, uh, find that tendon tendon and you stick that through, and it all that tendon will hold it in place there. Again, the same thing over here. See, we've got the notch, and then we have it sloped up, kind of cleaned off just to, to hang the deer on. So what I'm going to do is lash all this together, and uh, hopefully uh, tomorrow I'll get a deer. If I get one, I'll do a video on skinning it out. If not, then there won't be one posted. So hopefully we have a successful hunt, put some meat in the freezer. So... Just wanted to show you this, give you guys a little idea of something you could do on your own. Take a look at these notches. These are a seven notch right here on both ends and right there. Some basic notch notches with bushcraft. And this is a uh, like a log house or a Lincoln log style notch. You go halfway through one, halfway through the other, and just line them up. The only thing I did different here is I cut them at a bit of an angle so that because I have it going at an angle making a triangle um, doing those notches like that makes a little bit of difference so uh, hopefully that helps you out thanks for watching God bless